Hayward goes down, it don't matter. Horford goes down, it don't matter. Irving goes down, it don't matter. All we do is win, no matter what. 18 on our mind, can't never get enough. 17-point uh, comeback, I believe, guys. The young guys in the defense holding the Hornets to less than 40% from the field. 27 from 3. Well, they, they just shot like crap. They came out hot, though, didn't they? They came out real hot. Yep. And uh, the Celtics came out ice cold. Put it together, though. Wow. What an ugly win. Look at that. 36 from the field, 29 from 3. Just ugly. And the refs just seemed uh, 33 free throws for the Hornets. Yeah, it was just ugly all around, but we got the win. Shane Larkin might have been the MVP. Might have been the MVP, guys. And uh, Jason Tatum extremely clutched down the stretch, too. Marcus Morris as well. So, <clears throat> you know, I don't know what to say. Let me know what you guys think. But uh, 11 in a row, that's a big-time winning streak for a team that was written off by a lot of people right after the Hayward injury. I said, don't worry. It's all good. We might even be better. Might be a blessing in disguise. 11 games in a row, is that a blessing? I think so. So Tatum, you know, in addition to his uh, efficient scoring and all of that, in addition to his very smart defense, he just brings a length factor that Gordon Hayward can't touch. And uh, tipping balls, even when he's not getting rebounds, tipping them to his teammates, uh, getting these layups that Gordon Hayward wouldn't be able to get because he doesn't have the length, you know? So I still think Gordon Hayward's coming back for the playoffs, but... uh we're going to be just fine this regular season, obviously, as long as Irving comes back sometime soon, as long as Horford comes back sometime soon. Uh, but in the meantime, these guys can very much hold it down. Who knows? You might see these guys get even better, right? Marcus Morris stuck on a very mediocre Detroit team with a lot of dysfunction. Reggie Jackson, the point guard. This is a guy who could very much take a next step for the Celtics, just as Jay Crowder took the next step for the Celtics when he came over from Dallas. Marcus Morris may be even more talented than Jay Crowder in getting his first big opportunity for a legit winning functioning team with uh, pass first point guards and all of that. So he may very well take that leap. It sure looks like he is, doesn't it? It sure looks like he's just about as good as he's ever been. And uh, he's going to get all the minutes he wants to uh, really look good. And Jason Tatum as well, obviously, well ahead of the curve. Uh, you know, a lot of people didn't think he'd be able to just because he's a rookie. Jalen Brown showing that even when his shot is not falling whatsoever, he's still able to make a big-time impact, double-double, 13 rebounds, et cetera, et cetera. We just need him to be a little more consistent, especially with Kyrie Irving out, man, two minutes into the game. So he might have a concussion, right? Might have a broken nose, I don't know. But I think it's good they need to start doing that when someone takes someone takes a really hard hit to the head. Get him out of the game. Get him out of the game. Especially on the Celtics team. We got so much depth. Daniel Tice was awesome. Awesome. I don't know what to say. Let me know what you guys think. I've gone on long enough, but terrible shooting night, but we still just toughed it out, held our composure, got the defensive stops, and got the key buckets when it counted. And these are all young guys. What's the average age of these guys? You know, Marcus Morris is like the old man at 26, 27. Aaron Baines, I guess, is the oldest, but uh, young, young, young guys getting it done, driving the winning streak to 11 in the absence of Kyrie Irving, keeping their composure. Let me know what you think. I'll see you soon. Peace.